What's up guys, it's Mackie Galax here and I'm here with a first look at the F-SIM Space Shuttle game that was just released on the Play Store a couple of days ago. So this is an approach and landing only um, simulator, so you're not going to be flying out in space or anything like that and there won't be any shuttle takeoffs, but presumably it's um, supposed to be an accurate reproduction of um, the space shuttle. So let's jump right into it, we'll go into the menu and there's quite an extensive help section here that will show you how to land the orbiter and how to time your approach just right so you definitely want to read that to find out how to play the game and then you have the controls here where you can control sensitivity um, you can use your um, you can either tilt the device to control or have uh, pedals on screen that you can press on and then you have autopilot guidance for gears, sh shoot, speed brake and pitch corrections, rudder, etc. So let's jump back out there and then you have under views you can um, show the HUD in external view, you can either turn that on and off um, and some of the other options here that I've not had time to explore yet and you can also simulate failures to make the landing and approach more challenging you can have your speed brake stuck on so um, you can also simulate hydraulics failure and you have the microwave landing system or the tactical approach system you can choose either one right there um, some audio settings here and you can of course connect to open faint to have your scores uploaded and see how you're doing respect to everyone else okay so let's um, go for a spin here so I'll go back and then get a quick flight so the two um, the two air bases that you can land at are either John F Kennedy or Edwards Air Force Base um, you can randomize you, know, you can either have a full approach or final approach final approach will just simulate the last I believe 22 miles of the descent and you can go for Edwards or John F Kennedy and I believe that's the runway length so let's just try that and you can also have nighttime or daytime it's a bit more challenging at night and with clouds you can change the visibility wind speed gust turbulence atmospheric pressure and you can also simulate failures which I won't do now so when you start the flight you want to put it upright here at 90 degrees to the ground I'm going to click start flight now give it a second or two to calibrate while it's loading and once it's calibrated uh, whoa. Okay. I don't know if you can see that we just Okay, I guess that's not so good. All right, let's try it again. Just gonna let it calibrate for a minute here. So you can see the HUD here and the. Um, Well, I obviously need more practice on this, but yeah, that's, that's just to give you a basic idea of what um, this game is all about. It's about a little over three bucks on the App Store, so um, go check it out if you're into the Space Shuttle. I'll see you later.